Chapter is slamming the Northeast. Florida State fans thinking, this is why we live in Florida. They're coming inside to watch their Seminoles take on the Louisville Cardinals in game one of four today from the New York Life ACC tournament. Welcome everybody to ESPN's Champ Week presented by Principal. Once again this year, the ACC tournament brought to you by New York Life. This is the 8-9 game. Louisville the nine seed, Florida State the eight. They had identical regular season conference records of nine and nine. They split their two regular season meetings with each winning on the other's home eight. Louisville 19 and 12. A win today would give them a 20 win season for the 16th year in a row. Mike Eads, the lead official, working with Tim Nestor and A.J. Desai. Chris Kumaji will jump. And he's seven foot four, the tallest player, as you might expect, in Seminoles history, jumping against Donis Mahmoud, seven footer. And we're underway with the Seminoles of Florida State. Inconsistent has been the word Leonard Hamilton has used to describe this team with a young team. Kumaji's shot is off, man up and in. Dang Adele into the corner to VJ King, sophomore from Cleveland, shot clock down to 10. Ray Spaulding, nicely done off the glass. Long night. Much improved numbers for Spaulding as a junior. And Dang Adele rattles possibility of as much as a foot of snow in the New York area today. Let's see if that impacts the attendance. It is snowy outside, we're told. Rain most of the morning. Spaulding another bucket. We'll and have, it's a six to two start for the Cardinal. We'll have news on the tens <laughs> since we've covered the weather. Well, there are a lot of empty seats right now, so I'm trying to explain to the folks at home why some might not have made it because of the defense. They typically have long athletes. Mahmoud challenged by Kumaji and put up an in first airport to leave Columbia. Young man who, when he came here to pursue the basketball dream and a better life in 2012, Spoke very little English thighs on these two teams. Hey, Yogi Abu has great timing. Not good timing. He has great timing. I have seen him make two jumps, same play, spin around, block shot. Angola, 58th of the year. He's team leader in scoring in the ACC. Good move to free himself up for the shot. Quentin Snyder, senior point guard, one of the best in the conference. The Assist to turnover ratio and Sutton. Forrest had trouble in the traffic and was stripped, but he has it back for a man to deflected as man contested. Man was running the court and calling for the ball. Instead, it's a three by Savoy, and perhaps not. Actually, I wish you had said it now. Do we have a lot of time to ponder that? There's a deep three and a good one. Mike forever. And you saw there they kept the ball moving. Spalding off to Snyder and the lay-in drops. And long two would not fall for MJ Walker. Perry, you mentioned he's been hot from three, and that continues. Balding showing his range. No loss, and they are probably out, according to Joe and our ESPN BPI. It also could be the last game if that happens for David Padgett. That run. Tell you what, Padgett's doing a really good job in this game, understanding let's go to the zone, and then understanding how to play in the zone. And that's the problem. I've said your team better give you a better shot to win. Mahmoud, nice pass into the corner. Adele, another shot fake, and he gets the. Nice pass. Angola underneath to Terrence May. Saying David Padgett has to be very pleased with this effort. Of course, himself, Coach Padgett, there's a three. Such Danny Crum and Rick Patino, just the third coach in 47 years. And it remains to be seen if he will continue beyond this year, but I think. He can be very. Three seconds in the half. 
McMahon wide open at the buzzer of three. Have agents this level. I'm touching it. <laughs> From Egypt. Seven foot senior. Ooh, ooh. That's off the. Terrence Mann, his mama, college basketball coach. Co for show. Boy. He had 11 points in their win at Louisville on February 3rd. As we mentioned earlier, each team won on the other's home court. Nice run to block a shot. As good as anybody I've seen all year, and that's not the easiest thing to do. That is an absolute skill. Well, their players at each end are well aware now. Trent Forrest. Off for Terrence Mann. He had it deflected away. Leonard Hamilton frustrated by the turnovers in the first half. They can offense. Man lost it again all the way up. And the dunk by VJ by four games. I mean, they deserve to be a number one seed. Amazing season. They were picked sixth in the preseason poll. Angola. Looked up and saw Mahmoud Savoy for three. Florida State is a team that is capable of getting hot from three. They've made eight threes per game. That's the second. Yeah, not much of a zone attack here. Just Savoy from the other corner and another. Snyder with room and he has guys to know where Savoy is. Savoy wanted the ball for us. That people go, wait a second, I thought they were automatically in. I, I, don't, I don't see where they are. 20 and 10 overall. They're season champs of the ACC and the number one team in the country in tomorrow's quarterfinals. And you know Louisville would like another shot for a variety of reasons at Virginia. They're game last Thursday in Louisville which the Cardinals have won. How about Colson or Farrell out but Notre Dame did lose the ball state at home with Colson and Farrell. Notre Dame did lose to Indiana with Colson and Farrell. Nice from last opportunities to impress the committee members in Louisville doing that and then some today. Wow what a sh you are not in a position to take anything for granted. No absolutely not. And, and I thought Pittsburgh played really hard. I was impressed with Kevin Stallings crew yesterday. I, I was expecting a mess. Largely in part because if he emerged during the year, he became the focal point of the other team's defense. Snyder, nifty shot. Stop saying follow your shot. Remember when you were a kid, follow your shot, follow your shot. And now it's unusual when you see somebody like Angola who followed a shot. When did that change? It was uh, March 16, 1997. <laughs> Two years ago at UNC Asheville. Kofer for three. <laughs> A veteran ball handler, third in the ACC in assist to turnover ratio this year. Nearly 2.6 assists for every turnover. Angola, ball fake. Ten to shoot. Kofer, another three. Three years at Florida State made a combined total of 12 threes. He's made 44 this year. Perry it cleanly because they were playing off him. David Padgett was stomping his feet on the sideline. Oh. And he is livid. He can't be allowed. Kofer to make a game of it. Wow. Obiago. Kofer's on fire. And Kofer hit some big threes. Perry for three. Yes. Darius Perry. Mamu blocked. By Kevin Kelly. These two teams have combined to set the record for most combined blocks in a tournament game at the end. Last time the Florida State deficit was in single digits, 29 to 20, with 6.26 to go in the first half. Spalding leans in and didn't get the rebound. And now there are two minutes to go. Adele, boy, tough shot with 12 on the clock. <laughs> It was so bad, it was good. Wow. Got away with that. Really tough shot with plenty of time on the clock. And the other fouls. A little surprised by that. He's their team leader and threes made. He did look like he was shaken up while committing the foul. 
Underneath, Cabin Kelly, the dunk off the set. And they'll have to sweat it out on Selection Sunday with a 20 and 11 record. And a huge win for David Padgett, 20th of the season. Their second win against Florida State. But they're comparing those two teams. We mentioned the resumes. Florida State, the nice win at Florida. Louisville with two out of three over Florida State head to head this year. Snyder had 19 points. He had 12 in the second half. Spalding at 18.